Mm -mm. Just took off my chef's hat. Check out this breakfast. It is maple sausage links. And then taters and eggs. And I've got ranch dressing and um, hot sauce on top of that. Good stuff. It's a new Here we go, friends. Another meal that I worked myself to the bone in order to make. <laughs> it's absolutely magical. Now forget the fact that it looks like it's in a pre-packaged package here. And that it says what it is, and it looks completely like another company made it. A company named Bertoli. A family-sized chicken parmigiana and penne. Breaded white meat chicken patties with penne. Juicy tomatoes and mozzarella in a savory tomato sauce. Oh! Is this one of those meal-in-a-bag things? Just pop it in a pan and warm it up and you're ready to eat it? I think so. Let's check it out. Oh wait, no, I I, uh, I made this, right? Okay. Prepare to witness the labor that goes into meals like this. Absolutely incredible. Family size. It shrinks down quite a bit once it warms up because these are little sauce cubes. But yeah. Yes, I did wash my hands. Don't ask me in the comments. I'll warm this up and then show you. I hope all of you out there are super impressed. <laughs> On a more serious note, <clears throat> I'm just testing out a bunch of different foods and I'm letting you guys know what's good and what's not. Okay. All right, friends, meal in a bag review. It is done. It looks so good. Look at the breaded chicken right there. Yep. And there's uh, strings from the uh, melted mozzarella. So here it is in a bowl. I've got a piece of chicken and one noodle on the fork. It's still pretty hot. Go for it. Might be too hot. I don't know. Mmm, zesty. I can taste the sauce. There's chunks of tomatoes in here. Uh, the noodle's good. The breading on the chicken is really good. I don't know what they have on that for uh, seasoning mixed in with the breading, but it's really good. All right, that's it. Cooking with Mike, bachelor style. All right, friends, it was a sunny day up until about an hour ago. The clouds rolled in, but I've got a few issues going on right now. First, let me tell you, I've got a visitor coming tomorrow. My mom, she's on, gonna be on her way back up north, and so she's gonna stop by on her way north with her camper. So I'm gonna be cooking a stew for us. I have it cooked for like eight hours. I'll put corn in it and uh, potatoes and carrots and all that. I got everything ready. And I've got this corned beef brisket right here that I got a while ago. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna slow cook it, but uh, I think I'm eventually gonna give the crock pot away to a neighbor or something because I wanna get an Instapot really bad. I wanna get an Instapot. And the Instapot also slow cooks, so. Yeah, there's that. So I'm taking this meat out of the freezer. But I've got a few issues. I want my mom to be able to have power while she's here. And um, I had these power stations up here. Let me show you. Hello, friends. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Dinaman Night Vision Goggles here. They sent me out these Night Vision binoculars. And... I want to show you 
you know, for people that are interested in gadgets and stuff, gadgets are always cool. Looks like it comes with a strap. Looks like it comes in a nice case. Comes with a charging cable, so it already has batteries, a lithium battery in it. So you just recharge the battery. It comes with also a microfiber towel here for wiping the lenses off. And then user manual. It's in English. And then a quick guide. So this thing can be used in day or night. This might be hard to operate it. Check that out. You can see pretty darn far with it. And you can zoom in. Look at that and zoom out. This is really hard to do one handed. Ugh. You can also video record and take pictures of the things you see. Model Z095. And it's got this mount socket right here in case you want to mount it on a tripod. The other night I opened up this door and it was pitch black over there. And I saw a rabbit right on the corner. If you're interested in this cool little gadget, check out the link in the description below. I think it would be cooler if you could put your face up against it, you know, or something. But you're just kind of holding it like that. But it is what it is. It's pretty lightweight. Check out the link in the description below. And now go right back to the normal video. I have this little All Powers R600. And it sat in the shed for over a year. Probably a few years or whatever. And I cannot get it to charge. Whatsoever. I'll end up giving her this Jackery for power. Because I can't... Yeah. Just got an error 701. Which means... I'm being stupid. So there's that issue. And then I've got this power station over here. Now I fully charged this one up. Before I put it in storage. And I came back and it was... It wouldn't even turn on. It lost all its power. So I've had it charging with a, only a 100 watt panel for about four hours and it's only up to 21%. At that rate, it'll take days to charge that thing up. What I did, what I tried to do, was I took out this All Powers 400 watt solar panel and folded it onto the, onto the roof of the pilot here. But it wouldn't take the charge from this. So I'm stuck with that 100 watt panel to charge it up. I found some areas in here where mice have been living. <laughs> I'm probably going to throw this R600 away if I can't figure it out. It sucks. It's just such a waste. But... <sighs> It is what it is. Got my e-bike out here, but I never store my e-bike with, with my batteries. So if somebody ever broke in, it'd be absolutely ridiculous for them to try. Because I would hear them. But if it ever happened, if I ever ran to the store or something, you know, and somebody kiped this, they wouldn't have the most expensive part for it, which is the battery. So it'd be completely useless. I do that to all my stuff. I make it really, really annoying to uh, try to grab. Nothing's impossible to grab, but I make it really annoying to grab. And then uh, even if they do grab it, I make it, I try to make it so it won't work. <laughs> and they'll be on camera. And if they think they're gonna park down the road and walk up here and just wear a mask or something like that, I'll catch you on camera with whatever vehicle you used um, driving in. That's that's how I roll. I think about all that stuff. Security. You got to have security. You got to put, you know, a camera on the side of the road, camouflaged, you know, a couple miles up and on, in the only entrance of, of areas. So no matter what somebody comes in on, you can, you can catch them on camera. There's lots of ideas of things you can do, but, uh, 
anyways I got my mom coming out tomorrow and I've got those issues now I've got one power station I'm going to be throwing away more than likely and this other one I cannot find the AC charger so it's going to take days to charge that thing up and it doesn't even hold the current yes it was cold out here and it was stored for months and months but you would think, you know, they keep those power stations in warehouses for months and months and months. Temperature controlled, though. I guess the cold just takes... No? My lithium battery is here. I had completely unplugged and everything, and it was freezing in there. And they were just fine. Same with my other power stations. They were just fine. It's just the Alpha S and the All Powers, the little one. The bigger ones are better, I think. I don't know. Anyways, that's me.